Hi, I'm Dr. Angela McBurdy of drflute.com. Today's flute tip is on evening out your registers. When you play from a low C to a high C, just two octaves higher, what do you hear dynamically? Play it for me right now. Just just play through the the from the low C all the way up two octaves to the high C. And what do you hear? Because a lot of times what I hear from my students is they start off with a decent sound and probably mezzo something or other, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, somewhere in that range. But by the time they get up two octaves higher, they're a forte. And if they go up higher than that, they're a double forte. Now, these are my young, probably my younger students. My college students have learned to work this out a little bit. But sometimes the compensation to not be forte is to make your embouchure really tiny. And if you're doing that so that your third octave, your top of your second octave, is um, not a forte or a double forte, you're not doing it correctly. Now, if I play from low C up two octaves, I'm going to listen and see if I have an even dynamic level all the way up. My fingers didn't want to land that low C. Sometimes I have a hard time covering all the holes in order to get my low C. It's stretching to reach that low C. But when I listen to that, to me, I think that they're equal. My low C to my high C. Now there's going to be a difference in timbre because the wave is faster or the wave lengths are closer together as you get higher and you're going to sound a little bit more on the forte side of things. But I don't want to really get forte. I want that um, evenness of octaves all the way from my low C to my high C and even higher than that. Now how do you make sure that you're staying even because if you're not really listening to yourself you're going to fool yourself into thinking that your octaves are even when they aren't. So I'm going to listen to myself really carefully. <laughs> I feel like those are equal. Let me go up. And I want all the notes in between to be equal. Now, what do we usually do? Well, if you're not really paying attention and know what you're supposed to do, what happens is that for our high notes, we just tend to start blowing harder. my low C. Um, so I blew harder as I got higher and that's what I hear a lot is that we are blowing harder and if you're not blowing harder you're tightening up your embouchure to compensate for getting those high notes out. Now I've said this before in other flute tips but what is the key here to getting your high notes out and not blowing harder? And if you're one of my students, you'll know the answer is more, what am I going to say? More support. Or in my vernacular, I like to say more pressure. If I maintain that pressure all the way up, I free my embouchure here to be loose and to get those notes out with the best tone quality and not being forte. So I'm going to watch my air pressure and keep it up. Do I have to do some adjusting? Certainly, we have to adjust. Our embouchure has to change as we go higher. But I kept it all kind of in that forte range. Now 
this is an F, but doesn't that sound pretty much the same as my higher F? I think our ear can pick up all of those Fs, those three Fs that I just played, at being at the same dynamic level. And the key to it all is maintaining pressure and opening up your armature. I say that a lot. I say that for, to all my students. They know that, what, what am I going to say? Oh, should I open more? Almost all the time, yes, open more. Almost all the time, have more pressure. But if you do that and you don't think about it while you're doing it, you're still just going to blow harder. So your job is to listen to yourself as you play through the octaves, as you're playing through your music and say, am I changing my armature, getting tighter, so I'm blowing harder, but I'm compensating by getting tighter in my armature, or am I allowing my air pressure or support to hold up those notes and then freeing up my armature to be nice and open? Now I had to press a little bit harder as I went up the octave. I still feel in here, I'm pretty loose for that high F. Now, maybe I'm a little more firm right here in the center, but in here, this is still very loose. But each F I had to push a little bit more. There needs to be a little bit more pressure to hold that up so that I can go through the octaves. <laughs> maintain my dynamic level all the way through and also the evenness of tone. It didn't come out and, and get louder. It didn't get softer. I didn't squish it. It didn't get buzzier. It kept the same color all the way up and all the way down. So record yourself, listen to yourself and see what are you doing through those octaves. What do you think uh, you're doing with your armature or your pressure and are you maintaining the same dynamic level? I'm using the same dynamic level as our measuring stick because it's going to be ind an indicator if you're changing something or if you're just blowing harder for your high notes, which of course is not how we want to get those high notes to come out. So record yourself and listen and then implement more pressure, raising the airstream, but keeping your embouchure nice and loose and then see what that does for your tone quality. That's today's flute tip.